Good morning, everybody, and on today's episode of Life with Surge, actually, I kind of like the sound of that. Anyhow, uh, it's Wednesday, and it's been just dreary here in Austin for the last four or five days. I'm experiencing thunderstorms, and <laughs> it's just ridiculous rain and humid, very tropical, so it's been very interesting. Um, right now, I'm rolling just to get some sushi. Found another all-you-can-eat sushi place, which, yeah, I know. I probably should be eating something a little bit healthier, not stuffing myself, but just in the mood. Uh, I think I'm also going to go and check out maybe this antique mall today, I'm not sure. But at the end of this week, I am flying out east, and there's going to be an interesting little adventure that I'm going to document for you guys, so stay tuned for that. All right, guys, so here we are at Tsukumi. Uh, it's a Japanese place. They have all-you-can-eat sushi. We're going to try it out. The weather's kind of getting weird. I have to put on a sweatshirt. It's a little chilly and it's gloomy, but I'm excited to go and eat. So come inside and let's check it out. Thank you just for one. Okay, so this is the first two items that I ordered. I've got a, just a standard Philadelphia roll, which is smoked salmon, cream cheese, avocado. And this over here is a Longhorn Road longhorn roll and that has spicy tuna asparagus shrimp tempura it has salmon on top uh, spicy sauce and some kind of a korean sauce so these look quite tasty and i'll tell you for an all you can place these are large rolls this is the longhorn roll there's the shrimp the tuna sauce it looks really good i almost dipped it into the miso soup that would have been a mistake That is absolutely delicious. Now, old time favorite, Philadelphia roll. We have cream cheese, smoked salmon, and avocado. It's a Philadelphia roll, it's really good. It's kind of like getting a bagel and cream cheese inside of a sushi roll. It's simple, but it's one of my favorites. And I've got some nigiri coming, so that should be really cool. The nigiri. We got pepper tuna, we've got unagi, which is eel, uh, we have hamachi, we have seared albacore, shrimp, salmon, and just regular tuna. It all looks really good. So unfortunately, I got a copyright strike here because of the background music. But basically what I was saying was that the coloring and the marbling on the tuna looked really good and was just about to tell you how it tasted. Now the unagi which is eel with barbecue sauce on it. For those of you who have never tried it, it, it tastes like, I don't know how to describe it, but it's delicious. Just try it, trust me. I like it. Really, really good. Everything's excellent so far. Look at these bad boys. Wow. So we got the 35, roll 35, which is shrimp tempura, spicy crab, cucumber, tuna, and avocado. And the other roll is the spicy tataki roll, which is spicy tuna, cucumber, topped with tuna tataki, red onion, ponzu sauce, reyu sauce, house mustard sauce, and green onion. I couldn't memorize all that. So this is a spicy tataki. <laughs> Now for the roll 35. We got crab meat, shrimp tempura, tuna on top, a little avocado. Looks quite promising. And I'm getting quite full. <laughs> and I've got more nigiri coming. Oh. Again, I shouldn't do this on an empty, empty, empty stomach because I always eat too much. <laughs> And as if I hadn't eaten enough, we're going to end this wonderful meal with some mango ice cream. I thought it was going to be mochi. It's not. That's okay. It's less carbs. Just more sugar after a carbo-laden meal. For all you diabetics, this is the way you should eat. Lots of carbs followed by lots of sugar. Mmm. Tastes like mango. <laughs> So this place is basically $24.95 for lunch. That doesn't include sushi or sashimi or 
some of the other small things. Or you can pay thirty two ninety five, which is a dinner price, which includes the the sushi and the giri, which is what I did. And honestly, for thirty two dollars, at least here in the U.S., if you go and get sushi at a decent place. You're going to spend about that for lunch anyways. And this was excellent sushi. So for this price, definitely give it a surge thumbs up. Well, that was a delicious lunch. Tsukimi here in Austin, it's a little bit north of downtown, like I mentioned, is really good. All you can eat, wonderful place. So what else has been going on? Uh, you know, I've been here for about two and a half weeks. Um, it's been great. I've just had a lot of time to figure out my next step is, kind of still planning for my move to Thailand at the end of the year. Uh, I've gone on four dates, two of which were promising, really nice people overall. And so far, like I said before, I'm just really enjoying it here. And probably in the next week or two, I'm going to start thinking of some business ideas that I'm working on and try to progress with those. But one of my main goals is going to be to grow this channel. So I always appreciate your comments, your likes, your shares, any of that stuff always helps out, guys. So now I think we're going to go and try and find this antique mall and uh, go walk through there a little bit. Later today, I have to help my brother fix this toilet and yeah, don't worry we're not going to put that on video that's not going to be anything exciting hopefully i can fix it and not mess it up more <laughs> okay so what do we got here 993 or is this uh this actually looks like a mid 80s 911 that has been updated yeah definitely just the body panels don't look right not hating just pointing out well, here we are, the appropriately named Antique Mall, and I have no idea exactly where I'm located. I'm uh, about 25, maybe 30 miles tops north of downtown Austin. But let's go inside and see what they have. Maybe they have some treasures, maybe they don't. I've got some time to kill, and I'm kind of curious. Hey there. This place is quite large. So I have to wear masks indoors still. It's, you know, this is a really convoluted topic to be honest with you, because the CDC just announced that you don't have to wear masks if you've been vaccinated, vaccinated. And some businesses are saying you don't have to, like the gym I go to here, Orange Theory, they have mask optional classes. Whereas when I went to Costco yesterday, there was this epic battle between one of the managers and one of the customers about whether or not masks were required. So I think the frustrating part is just that there's no consistency to it. It's kind of like, they'll just pick one or the other, but it is what it is. Now we got some really cool stuff in here. I'm definitely into vintage toys and toys in general, definitely. Check out this gremlin. I mean, he's not vintage, but that is just really a neat piece. Check that out. It is a vintage Castle Grayskull. This is uh, Mattel, 1980s, He-Man, master, master of the universe. Uh, it's not complete. It's $125. It's a little bit too high. So I'm going to leave it where it is and have somebody else find themselves a treasure. It's a really cool old tandem. I'm not sure what brand this is. Let's take a look. Oh, it's a J.C. Higgins, 1950s, $750. It's got a lot of patina on it, which is really cool. It looks to be in excellent shape. And just for a clarification, we are in Round Rock, I just asked. So we are in Round Rock, Texas, and that's where this antique mall is. And I think it's like 30,000 square feet. They have over 200 dealers. Definitely one of the bigger antique malls that I've ever been inside and a great variety of things. So if you like looking around, if you like buying stuff or just want to come in, I would highly recommend coming down here. It's the antique mall in Round Rock. Okay, so I just found this really cool Corgi Chipperfield circus set. This is a re-release from I think the late 90s, early 2000s. There's about seven or eight pieces. There's about four up here and then down here. There's four more, so I'm waiting for them to come back to me. Let me know what the total price is. Maybe we can score something today. So now as you can see, the case is empty because I ended up buying all 10 of the Corgi Chipperfields and Pinder Circus pieces for $350. So that's not bad. I'll probably end up making a couple hundred bucks on it. And I just haven't bought anything in a while, so I was excited to be able to get a deal. Let's go see what else they have. Got some really cool sculptures here made with the old Edison style light bulbs. Just check these things out. I love stuff like this. 
I don't have the artistic ability to create things like this, although I've made a few weird little robots, but I'm always impressed when people kind of recycle and upcycle things and make some really cool art. Well, the weather turned a little bit, so the bike ride didn't happen. And in case you're wondering, I did make it to my brother's house to fix his toilet. Hopefully it works. <laughs> Anyhow, that's about it for me, guys. I'm going to make myself a little bit of salad, throw some turkey breast in it, try to have a nice, light, low-carb meal for dinner. And that's pretty much it for tonight. And like I mentioned, stay tuned for this weekend because I'm taking a trip to the East Coast. And it's going to involve planes, trains, and automobiles. It should be really fun. See you soon.